Hey guys, the objective for this video is to define Von Mises' yield criterion. So Von Mises' yield criterion is, is actually based on shearing distortion energy. So it's quite different um, to Tresca's in that way, and so it's a little bit beyond the scope of this course. So what we really need to know is this equation um, here. This is in 3D space when we have a 3D uh, shear stress, but if we assume um, that our shear stress in the third dimension is equal to zero, then it all simplifies down into this equation here. So sigma one squared plus sigma two squared minus sigma one times sigma two. If that's less than Fy squared, it's not yielded and, and so on and so on. We can also write this equation in terms of our usual stress components. So sigma x, sigma y, and tau x, y. So you've got, you can deal with it in principal stresses or you can deal with it um, in the usual stress components. Just make sure um, that you're aware that this is the yield stress squared here. So it's quite different to Tresca's where it was equal to the yield stress. So make sure when you're checking that you root uh, the result over here to ensure uh, that you get the actual um, yield stress. So if we plot this, it's going to look a bit like this. So von Mises looks um, a bit like an ellipse um, at an angle. So if we plotted all of the, the different results that we could have, um, obviously if you're in the inside, then you're not going to yield. When you hit um, this surface here, you yield. And then outside, um, you, you pass the point of yielding. Tresca's looks slightly different. Um, it's this hexagonal shape that we